Man, as if I thought WWE couldn't even be more shit. Listen, Triple H, I know you're never going to hear this, but let me tell you something. If one, if the odd chance you do, sign me. Sign me. You're signing niggas like Logan Paul who don't have real fighting skill. Let me tell you something. I'm 250 pounds, all right? I got the strength of an ox. I can be your next Tommy Dreamer, a great baller, a great brawler, excuse me, a great brawler. I don't mind jobbing to people too. I really don't give a fuck. I can sell too. I've been selling since I was five years old. And let me tell you something, bro. WWE ain't shit. And the fans, they ain't shit either. I could be a great heel too. Let me tell you something. WWE fans are dumb. All right. I went on Instagram, right? WWE's Instagram. Granted, I haven't watched a whole WWE show, like an entire two hour, three hour snooze session until since 2014. You know, so that's when WWE started to die. So let me tell you something. All right. Let me tell you something. So I saw Logan Paul beat Rey Mysterio, which I believe is the most bullshit thing I've ever seen. Okay. Logan Paul. Seriously. Seriously. Logan Paul beating an icon like Rey Mysterio. I understand if he beats a guy like The Miz or he beats a guy like, you know, JTG. Some fool ass niggas. That's been in the that been in the WWE for a minute, so I understand that. But Rey Mysterio, this nigga went toe to toe with the Undertaker, Kane, John Morrison, John Cena. I think mad people. Triple H, he never faced Triple H. Actually, never mind. Scratch that. Shawn Michaels, and you're telling me this busty ass, stupid ass, little piece of shit white boy who came from YouTube that laughed at a dead corpse in Japan, all of a sudden. Captures the title, and not only just captures the title, he defeats Ray Motherfucking Mysterio. I, I can't believe this shit. I literally cannot believe this shit. All right, I am in shock. And now people are gonna defend Logan Paul. I, you know what I said? I commented. I said, um, what did I say? Somebody said, oh, because Ray Mysterio did like a, he did a, he messed up. He did a springboard, and he messed up, and Logan Paul caught him. Now, that's not that impressive because Logan Paul's like 6'1 and Rey Mysterio's 5'6. I mean, I could catch Rey Mysterio if I wanted to, too. He's only 160 pounds. That's nothing. All right? My bench is in 200-something. I haven't benched in a while, but it's 200-something. Definitely, definitely damn sure bigger than Rey. But, nigga, they said he protected Rey, and then I said, too bad he couldn't protect the guy in Japan. And then they said, oh, he's already dead. It's not his fault. Nigga. What the fuck you mean is not his fault? Okay, I understand. The dude killed himself. Do you not realize that somebody mentally ill just ended their life? And what does Logan Paul do? He laughs at that corpse. Imagine if that was your mama. Imagine if that was your daddy. Imagine that was your sister. You wouldn't be laughing. You would not be laughing. If somebody laughed at my, my family's dead corpse, I would be pissed off. And I still don't forgive that nigga because he made this bullshit ass apology making think think everybody's going to buy it. And the only people who bought it were his dumb ass trash fans. He's not that good on the mic. He sucks. His physique is OK. I guess that's the best part about him. That's why I picked this picture. He does have an underrated physique. Very good physique. Definitely better than most of the guys. They, they're hiring fat dudes now and skinny ass niggas. Like seriously, like the WWE is a cruiserweight division. The whole WWE. There's mad niggas that are like below 5'2", five 5'2", two, five two. <laughs> I'm just kidding, below 5'8", 160 pounds, just flipping all over the place. What happened to the powerhouses? What happened to the grapplers? What happened to the brawlers? What happened to all those niggas? It's just a bunch of cruiserweight niggas flipping over. I thought this was fucking WWE, not Monday Night Little Girl Little League Gymnastics. <laughs> Nigga, it, it, it's fucking dead. And now that Logan Paul, I don't know what title he won. I think it was the United States Championship. The fuck, nigga? What did he do to deserve that shit? He cannot talk. He sucks in the ring. I mean, he almost killed Rey Mysterio. I mean, he should have been more forward instead of being all the way back because you should be more forward. But the nigga got there too late. So, yeah. I don't know, bro. And people quick to defend him and say, oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, come on. He laughed at a dead-ass corpse in Japan. And everyone thought it was, you know, horrendous. But then all of a sudden they forgive him. I'm not surprised. Like, the YouTube world is so stupid. Like, y'all let Chet Goldstein and people like EDP, y'all forgive them. So, it is what it is. I mean, you got, like, the internet is people with, is, I mean, I'm not, at the same time, I'm not surprised. The internet is filled with people who forgive pedophiles, too. So, 
Yeah. That's my take on this shit. But hey, like I said, Triple H, Mr. Man, you got to sign me. If somebody like Logan Paul is in there, if somebody like motherfucking fat ass nigga Otis is in the WWE, why can't I be in the WWE? I don't give a fuck. You guys can pay me like chump change. I'll still go. All right. I'll still go. You know, I will go. I will do whatever you needs to do. I'm not going to kiss ass, I'm, but I'm not going to be incompetent. You know, I'm going to do whatever it takes. I don't mind jobbing. I don't mind being that. I could be like a, you know, a Massachusetts Boston brawler or something like that. You know, that's because I'm from Mass. So I could do that. You know, I mean, it'd be nice. Something like that, you know, or a New York brawler or something like that. Because y'all take Samoans and make them Japanese for some reason or something like that. Or y'all take, well, <laughs> y'all take people who are like not even their race and make them another race. But hey. I could do whatever it means. I could do any gimmick. I could be insane too. I could be the next lunatic fringe that y'all are missing since Dean Ambrose is gone. Whatever it takes. I don't care because if somebody like Logan Paul, Logan motherfucking Paul, who, who laughed at somebody dying, is in the WWE, come on, man. Come on. Put me in. Put me in. Put me in. That'd be nice. It'd be good. I don't, give, I don't care. I could do house shows. I could do anything. Pay me. That's all I ask for. Pay me. But yeah, no, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, people are defending Logan Paul now. I mean, back in like what, 2016, 2017? I don't remember what year it was, but it was that what it was that w weird year where like everybody wanted to be a YouTuber and they all sucked his dick. And then they said like, and then when he went to Japan, people started to hate him and they did an apology and everyone was like, oh, okay, Logan Paul's such a great man. La 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 la. <laughs> Fuck this little blonde ass nigga. Fuck him. He laughed at a dead corpse. If it was your mommy, if he was, if he was your mommy in that Japan, in that place, if your mom was in Japan and she killed, and she killed herself there, you won't, y'all won't be so forgiving. Nobody gives a fuck until it happens to them or their family. I'm telling you. But I'm not surprised. We live in a day and age where people forgive pedophiles. We live in a day and age where criminals and shit, they're all fucking appraised. Like if you do a crime, you're a good person. If you do good things, you're a pussy. So, hey, it is what it is. This world's all fucked. We're all going to die stupid. So, yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Fuck Luka Paul. WWE, sign me. If not, fuck y'all. It is what it is. You know, no shade, but your show's kind of trash now. Especially since you got Logan Paul on the show. Make him the face of the company. Oh! <laughs> Do not make him the face of the company. Hell no. It's already shit with Roman Reigns. But everybody's quick to suck him off. Because, you know, that's how it is. But, hey, it is what it is. Y'all know. I'm out. About to enter my house. See y'all.